A federal judge issued a temporary restraining order last night to stop the release of blueprints to make untraceable and undetectable 3D printed plastic guns, saying they could end up in the wrong hands. Good evening to you. I'm Nate Custer. And I'm Jennifer Pignate. Thanks for joining us tonight. KNWA's Lance Lloyd joins us in studio with what one local business has to say about making your own guns using a 3D printer. The company behind the plans had reached a settlement with the federal government in June that allows it to make the blueprints for the guns available to be downloaded, but they have been blocked. We spoke to a local gun shop today about the plans and what this could mean for people who decide to make their own firearms. Owner of the JT Armory in Lowell, Jesse Lopez, says although he's in favor of people being able to make their own guns, he says you could be putting yourself in danger if you do so. I don't think lawmakers should slip in. I think everybody should be able to do it. It's not illegal. It's not against the law right now to do it. They're plastic, you know. It takes a lot more than a 3D printer to make a firearm work. I wouldn't personally do it. Uh, I would be afraid of it. <laughs> Industry experts have expressed doubts that criminals would go to the trouble since the printers needed to make the guns are very expensive, while the guns themselves tend to disintegrate quickly and traditional firearms are easier to come by. In studio, Lance Lloyd, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News.